हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव गॉट अ बिग रिक्रूटमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर ऑल द इंजीनियर्स बिकॉज पावर ग्रिड कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड हैज पुट अप इट्स रिक्रूटमेंट नोटिफिकेशन यू कैन सी इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर स्क्रीन दैट इट इज द लेटेस्ट रिक्रूटमेंट एडवर्टीजमेंट फॉर इंजीनियर्स ट्रेनिंग ट्वेंटी The Power Grid Corporation is going to recruit electrical, electronics, civil, and computer science engineers on the basis of their performance in the GATE 2023 examination. Let me give you some important insights. So, the engineer engineer trainees are going to be tentatively in the discipline of electrical, electronics, civil, and computer science are eligible. which can apply in this recruitment process through the gate performance or gate score card now such graduates who are desirous of pursuit pursuing further studies on the basis of gate 2023 or need extension of joining time in case of selection need not apply it means only those candidates should go for this recruitment who just want a job okay now let us uh, let me give you some more insight what is the eligibility criteria the eligibility criteria is that you must have a valid gate score for 2023 candidates should have appeared in the corresponding paper of gate 2023 as shown in the following table and they must have qualified in the same examination the qualifying marks shall be as declared by the gate 2023 organizing body for example the engineer training electrical their corresponding gate 2023 paper is electrical for electronics it is electronics for civil it is civil engineering and for computer science engineer trainee it is going to be computer science what is the upper age limit the upper age limit is 28 years as on 31st of december 2022 i repeat 31st of december 2022 it should not be more than 28 years now now these are some of the courses okay these are the disciplines and these are the percentage of marks as a qualifying criteria for example the candidates must have a full time bachelor of engineering bachelor of technology bachelor of science engineering from a recognized university or the institute the engineering streams can be for electrical engineering can, uh, electrical engineering candidates the btech or the graduation should be in electrical electrical power electrical and electronics power system engineering or power engineering electrical for electronics candidates the qualifying uh, qualification the qualifying degree in the graduation should be in electronics electronics and communication electronics and telecommunication electronics and electrical communication or telecommunication engineering for civil engineering it is simply civil engineering for computer science it is computer science computer engineering information technology and the criteria is that you must have minimum 60% or equivalent cgpa now how this equivalent cgpa is calculated that is also mentioned here now the final year or the semester students who expect their final result by 14th of august 2023 they are also eligible so if you are in the final year or final semester and you are expecting your final result up to 14th of august 2023 then you can also apply now provided they have obtained minimum 60% marks or the equivalent cgpa in aggregate of all the semesters years up to the pre final examination in case of selection their candidature shall be subject to their securing minimum 60% marks in the essential qualification so essential qualification criteria has to be fulfilled anyhow and this is logical also now there are some relaxation and concessions for different category for for example for persons with disability you can read it in the notification if you require it if you want it for all the engineering streams categories okay now in terms of the upper age limit what is the relaxation let me just uh, spell it for obc non creamy layer candidates it is the relaxation of 3 years and this is the post reserved for the respective category 
for SCST candidates, the relax relaxation is 5 years in terms of upper age limit. For persons with disability candidates, the relaxation is 10 years. And for Jammu and Kashmir domicile, ex-servicemen or victims of riots, it is as per the Government of India directives. Okay. So, let me give you some more insight or information. Now, if somebody is a power grid departmental candidate, because power grid departmental candidates may also be applying through gate 2023. If you are working in the power grid, then what is the relaxation or concession? There is no upper age limit. There is no upper age limit for those candidates who are already working in power grid and still they are applying through this recruitment. The qualifying marks in the essential qualification is relaxed to 50% for general and OBC non-criminal category. The departmental candidates shall also be required to qualify in the corresponding paper of GATE 2023. There is no application fee for applying in the power grid. Uh, one important information, trainees working in power grid shall not be considered. So, trainees are not going to be considered who are full-time uh, you can say employee, they can also, they only can follow this. Okay. Now, what is the selection process? The selection process consists of what are the marks you are obtaining in the GATE 2023 examination. Then the second stage is group discussion and the third stage is personal interview. Now, there is some weightage also in terms of, in terms of, sorry. Yeah, in terms of GATE 2023 marks you are getting and group discussion and interview. So, 85% weightage is given to your GATE performance, 3% weightage is given to the group discussion and 12% weightage is given to the personal interview. So, you can see the maximum weightage is given to the uh, GATE exam performance. So, definitely if you have a good score, if you have a good marks, good All India rank, then there is a high possibility. Now, let me check if there is any more important insight. Yes. What is the compensation package? That is very, very important for everyone. Yes or no? So, the compensation package, the corporation offers a very attractive pay package and this is one of the best in the industry. The selected candidates will be placed in the pay scale of 40,000, 3 percent to 1 lakh 40,000 during the one year training period, they shall be paid a stipend in the form of basic pay of rupees 40,000 along with IDA, HRA and perks at 12% of basic pay during the training period. On the successful completion of the training, the candidates will be absorbed as engineers in the E2 scale and the band is going to be from 50,000 3% to 160,000. Okay. And there are so many other perks and incentives and facilities that you will be getting. So, Everybody knows that power grid is going to be one of the uh, Maharatna. Okay. Now, there is a service agreement bond also. If you are finally selected and you join this job, then there will be a service agreement bond for at least 3 years and the amount of the bond is going to be 5 lakh for general category and OBC non creamy layer and EWS candidates and it is going to be 2, and a, 2 lakh and 50,000 rupees for SCST and person with disability candidates. Now, there are some important instructions for the registration process or the of the application. The candidates have to register themselves and appear for the corresponding paper of the GATE 2023 that you already must have completed. Civil is remaining that is on 12th. For details on the GATE 2023, you can visit the IIT Kanpur official uh, website for GATE because this is the organizing IIT this year. Now, a separate notification with details regarding number of vacancies, reservation, important instructions regarding submission of PowerGate online application, date of interview. It shall be hosted on the PowerGate website from 10th of January 2023 and this is tentative. The application window for PowerGate shall be open from 16th of January. I repeat 16th of January 2023 to 18th of February 2023. So, this is going to be the date in which you have to apply. Okay. So, you must have your GATE uh, 2023 application number, GATE 2023 registration number and other information required 
which will be made available at the carrier section of powergrid.in. Now, SCST PW uh, person with disability and ex serviceman departmental candidates, these four categories are exempted from any application fee, whereas other candidates are required to log in uh, to your candidate login section and then deposit a non refundable application fee of 500 rupees through the online mode only. On the submission of the application fee, your application process will be treated as complete. Now, candidates will be required to retain their GATE 2023 admit card and GATE 2023 scorecard for verification at the time of group discussion and interview, pre-employmental uh, employment medical examination, joining in power grid, all this is going to be required, but it is for the further process. Now, these are general information that you can follow. I think it is already given on the official website. So, this is all for uh, this is small video and uh, I hope you understand the importance because it is going to be one great career opportunity for you through GATE 2023 examination. Thank you so much. Stay connected and subscribe to Baiju's exam prep for all these important updates. Thank you so much.